morning everybody it is Tuesday morning around seven o'clock and wanted to show you guys what I made for breakfast so I do have my half calf coffee I am on like my second cup <laughs> I have some um, silk half and half in there and that half and half is oat milk and coconut blend it is really good and then of course for breakfast I have oatmeal and in my oatmeal, I have these uh, Nut Stop dried strawberries. And let's see here. So this is a 16 ounce package. Quarter cup is about 140 calories because it does have some sugar in it. But I put these in some water last night to rehydrate them and then cook them in my oatmeal. So I am going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys back here at lunch. Lunch for Tuesday is steamed broccoli, and I have just sprinkled on some Mrs. Dash table blend and a little bit of garlic salt. And on this side, I have about, oh, and this is an entire package, 12 ounce steamer bag of broccoli. Over here on my right, I have a cup of rice with the vegan cheesy sauce from Planiful Kiki. I plan to mix this all together and eat it. I'll see you guys back here at dinner. All right, so today is Monday, and this is my dinner for today. I made a huge kale salad. My protein is black beans. I have cherry tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, and then kale. And then my dressing is, let's see, I've got about two tablespoons of coconut aminos. <coughs> I have about between one to two tablespoons of tahini, about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, and about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And that is how I made my salad dressing. And it actually makes quite a bit. I think this is about close to a half a cup of dressing. This salad is huge. My, I have big hands. So it is a deep bowl and it is really, really big. So I'm going to enjoy this dinner. I did have an apple earlier for a snack and I may have another apple a little bit later, but this is my last meal for the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday and I'm starting out my day with some oatmeal for breakfast. Um, today, this is, of course, a half a cup of quick oats with a cup of uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So I cooked that in the microwave for about, I don't know, three minutes or so. And the only other thing that's in here is a little bit of cinnamon and some stevia. So this is what my breakfast is this morning, which I know is probably no surprise since I do oatmeal every morning, but I still want to share it with you. I'll see you guys back here at lunch. Hi everyone, it is Tuesday, it is lunchtime, it's about 11.30, I'm starving, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a little something. I have a kale salad here, so tons of kale um, in this bowl, along with some red onion, cucumber, some cut up cherry tomatoes, and then I've got coleslaw mix in here as well. And then for protein, I have black beans that were left over from yesterday's salad, probably about a half a cup or more. All right, so for salad dressing, again, I made my own salad dressing. It consists of, there's three tablespoons of water in here, two tablespoons of tahini, two tablespoons of these liquid aminos. I don't know how much um, of the nutritional yeast there was because it was just the bottom of the barrel and I ended up using what I had left. It was probably around a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then, of course, garlic powder. I put about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder in there. Just stirred it up really well. It makes about almost a half a cup of uh, dressing, which is perfect because this salad is absolutely huge. So I'm going to put my dressing on my salad and enjoy this. And then I'll see you guys back here at dinner. Hi, everyone. It is Tuesday, and this is what I am having for dinner. You might look at this and think, holy cow, you see you're having baked potato and mashed potato for dinner? You're crazy. 
it's not it's not what you think really <laughs> this is a baked potato and this is a, a large jumbo potato that i just put in the microwave four minutes on each side until it was done and i topped it with that vegan cheesy sauce that i love so much um, put some mrs dash table blend pinch of salt and a little bit of extra garlic powder on that this is cauliflower mash I bought some 12 ounce steamer bags from Walmart in my last haul. I cooked the entire bag. I put this in, I've got like this little mini Cuisinart that has a, um, an attachment that is like a food processor. I was searching for the word food processor. A little splash of plain almond milk and it made this it looks absolutely amazing. It made a really nice consistency for cauliflower mash. And then, of course, the cheesy vegan sauce is my gravy. And um, I sprinkled Mrs. Dash garlic powder and salt on this as well. This is my dinner for today. I don't think I might have an apple later for a snack, but uh, this is my last meal. So I will see you guys tomorrow and... Uh, I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and it is actually only about 3.30 in the morning. I've been up all night with Chewy. He is not feeling well. And because I haven't slept, I'm starving super early this morning. So I'm going to start out with a bowl of oatmeal. And if I get hungry before lunch, I'll heat up some broccoli or just some kind of steamed veggie to tide me over until lunch. So um, that is this is breakfast for today. So just regular oatmeal with no fruit, a little bit of cinnamon, and some stevia. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll see you guys back here at lunch. Hi everyone, this is my lunch for Wednesday. This is a Nutstop 16 bean soup that I cooked in my Instant Pot with green pepper, onion, carrots, celery, a um, ton of spices, uh, better than bouillon, and then I just added a handful of fresh kale. Um, it already had a little bit in there that had wilted, but I wanted some fresh, so I put some extra kale in there. And this is what I'm going to enjoy for lunch. I'll see you guys back here at dinner. Hi, everyone. This is dinner for Wednesday. I have steamed broccoli with a little bit of garlic salt and Mrs. Dash table blend. And then over here, I have some chickpea pasta that I made and uh, just a little bit of just traditional marinara sauce. So this should be my last meal for the day. I'm exhausted. I'm heading to bed as soon as I eat. I will see you guys tomorrow morning for breakfast. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning and I am starting off uh, with a bowl of oatmeal. It's about 9.30 right now and I'm just not getting hungry. What I have in my oatmeal uh, is uh, goji berries. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried these, but I got these from Nutstop and they are dried. So um, they are, let's see, 112 calories for a quarter cup. I just shook a little bit, so maybe, you know, half of a quarter of a cup, maybe like an eighth is what I used, maybe even less. And then I just cooked those, um, you know, in my oatmeal. You see the pieces here, but um, I did add a little bit of Splenda, and I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and then I'll see you guys back here at lunch. Hey, guys, it is Thursday. It's lunchtime, almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having a broccoli stir fry for lunch. So I made brown rice in my Instant Pot, uh, two cups of rice to three cups of water on high pressure for 22 minutes, and then I let it natu naturally release for, I think it was almost 15 to 20 minutes. I forgot about it. So that is my rice, and then I steamed a 12 ounce bag of broccoli, and this is the whole package. I sprinkled some, uh, what is it, ginger powder over top of the rice and the broccoli, put a little bit of low sodium soy sauce and some garlic powder. I might add a pinch of salt if it needs it, and this is what I'm going to enjoy. I will see you guys back here at dinner. Hey guys, it is Thursday and it is dinner time. I am having the same thing I had for lunch, which is kind of like a stir fry. 
I have rice that I cooked up in my Instant Pot uh, earlier today, and I just put some soy sauce on here, a little bit of ginger powder, and a little bit of onion powder. And then this is just a 12 ounce bag of steamed California blend vegetables. And the only thing on here is some garlic powder. So I'm gonna mix this up and this is dinner for tonight. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for breakfast. Hey guys, it is Friday morning. So this is the last day of eating for breakfast. Of course, I am having oatmeal. This is a half a cup of Quick Oats, just the Great Value brand with one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I did add about an eighth of a cup of goji berries, which you can see in my oatmeal. And the goji berries are from Nutstop. I added a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of stevia to sweeten it up. So I will enjoy this and then I will see you guys back here at lunch. Hey guys, it is a Friday around 11 a.m. and I am about to eat lunch. I have three quarters of a cup of brown rice that I made in my Instant Pot and probably no surprise, I am eating um, the cauliflower California blend mix. This is a 12 ounce steamer bag. I threw again, I know this is getting boring. I kind of eat the same thing every day, but I threw the same thing I had on here yesterday, which is some soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of ground ginger, and if I didn't already say so, I've got some soy sauce in here too. So just a quick steam fry, it's not a stir fry, um, but you know, just the veggies and the rice. This is my lunch for today. I'll see you guys back here at dinner time. Hi everyone, it is about 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday and I'm gonna go ahead and have my dinner. I'm supposed to meet my friends for uh, dinner a little bit later and I checked out the prices at this restaurant in advance and they are outrageous and definitely not in my budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this first and then that way I can do just like a side item like french fries or something at the restaurant just so I can munch on something and be social. So for dinner tonight I have a baked potato that I just heated up in the microwave and Brussels sprouts. So I have the vegan cheesy sauce that I've been making. I've got that all over both. Um, there is garlic powder, Mrs. Dash table blend, and I think a little bit, I did add a little bit of onion powder as well. So um, I've got Brussels sprouts and a baked potato, so I'm gonna go ahead and have this, and that way I can just maybe get something small within my budget at the restaurant and still enjoy um, a good time with friends. So this will be my last meal. I may uh, go ahead and insert a picture of anything that I might have eaten at the restaurant, but uh, this is the last meal for the day. Hey guys, it is Friday night and I made myself a little snack. I ended up canceling my dinner plans. It it just wasn't in the budget and Chewy had to go to the vet earlier this week. He's still not feeling really well and I just didn't want to leave my poor pup home alone. So let me show you guys what I made to treat myself. This is banana ice cream. I have a Vitamix, which is a high speed blender. I put about two two to three frozen cut up bananas in my Vitamix with about, about a third of a cup of vanilla almond milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I added one, uh, one tablespoon rather of um, this Nutstop cocoa powder. And I blended that up in my Vitamix until it was completely smooth. And then um, what I've got topped on here is, you can see this is really nice and thick. It's just like ice cream. I've got some peanuts also from Nutstop. Those are crushed up and then this little, uh, this little specks of brown is this pecan meal from Nutstop as well. I'm really enjoying their products. So um, I used several of their products over the course of the week. I liked every single one of them. 
So I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in checking out their website. They gave me a coupon a discount code for you guys if you're interested. But this is going to be the last meal for the day, banana ice cream for dessert. And I guess I will wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, please let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys want to see more of these what I eat in a week kind of videos where you see how I use the groceries that I purchase um, for meals each and every day. So thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.